This was the most sought after car when I put the four cars up and did the poll. Yeah. 73% of my audience said to get a 720. Yeah. So this is why I'm here, because of you guys. Oh, are you excited? I'm very excited. This is by far the earliest I've ever started this car here. And uh, well, you guys know what it's like. It's loud. Oh, sorry wifey, sorry Presley. the moment of truth because it said possible sailing weight when I was driving out here on the sign. Hello, just me. Is it still the seven? Yeah, possible weight. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, guys, made the sailing. I'm stoked. That would have sucked. Next ferry would have been two hours. I'm pretty sure I was one of the last like five or maybe like 10 cars, which is a big deal on a ferry that carries hundreds of cars. That's really close. Oh wow, look at that. Definitely one of the last five or six cars. trying to get as much coffee in me before I head back downstairs to the car. Today's all about finding the next GD Tire Slayer. I've already driven two of the four cars I said I would replace that car with. I've driven the Performante, I've driven a GT3 RS. Now I gotta go and look at the McLaren 720, which is number one on the list of cars you guys said you wanted me to try. So today's the day. We have arrived, if you can't tell. Uh, we're at Lamborghini. And I'm trying to park in a tight spot with a camera. Good morning, good morning, good morning from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. My name's Damon Fryer. Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. For all the new people coming to the channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and big shout out to all the DD fam. I'm here at Lamborghini of Vancouver to get the service done on my Huracan. It needs an oil and filter change. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. These guys are right into the holiday spirit. They got a Rudolph LP580-2. I actually have a similar kit. Oh, this one's new. It's actually got little ornaments. <laughs> That's awesome. On the agenda today, oil and filter change for the service. Grab a coffee. Meet my buddy Gabe, who's going to come with me and all of us for an epic journey up the Sea to Sky Highway, which takes us from Vancouver along the coast between the ocean and the mountains up to Whistler, British Columbia, one of the most epic ski resorts that you can find on the planet. But in the meantime, we gotta get the service done. I'm gonna drop off my keys. We're gonna check out a few cars in the showroom. And then a little later on, after I pick up Gabe, we're gonna go across the street to McLaren, where I have one of the four cars I've been choosing from as a replacement for the next Tire Slayer, which happens to be the 720S. So I'm super excited to get behind the wheel of that car. 
In the meantime, let's drop my car off here and grab a coffee. Okay, I'm out of there. I'm gonna go explore a few other supercar dealerships in the area before I go to McLaren in a bit. One of them's just down this alley. At the end of it is Ferrari. They've recently taken in on trade a 2017 488 Coupe. This Coupe is very well priced at $360,000 Canadian. The reason for that is, is the person who owned it is an absolute champion. In one year of driving, they did 35, I believe, thousand kilometers. That's the same mileage I've put on my Huracan. Whoever owned that is daily driven. So mad props to them. Thanks for trading it in because it's a definite contender for one of the four new DDE tire slayers. We're gonna head to Ferrari and have a look. We are in the top floor. Actually, this isn't the top floor. You have another floor. I'm a liar. We're on the third floor of four story Ferrari of Vancouver. As you can see, they have all sorts of beautiful cars, but one in particular that I was telling you guys I wanted to come and see. A daily driven, higher mileage if you consider that. 34, 35,000 K? 35,000 kilometers. Beautiful 488 coupe. Here it is right here. Actually, which one is it? Is it the uh, white, white roof? It's the white with the white roof. There, <laughs> I'm already confused. This is rare because out of all of Canada, this is, this is the cheapest 488? It would likely be, yeah. Because most of them are not under 400,000. So this one's going for uh, 365. Canadian, Canadian. I know I have a lot of American viewers. Uh, you'd have a one up, a leg up on our dollar. So again, this is no longer a naturally aspirated engine. This is a twin turbo. And we were just chatting. They have a client who just got an exhaust put on his 488 and a tune It's pushing like 700 horsepower. This is insane. What do you guys think? Thoughts? White 488? Is that the way to go? Someone's calling me. Oh, Gabe. Gabe. Bye. I'm a big fan of the red. Yeah, it looks good. And cool. like, this one's got the dashboard inserts too. Can we open the door again on this side yep. and I'll poke my head in? Oh yeah, he's got all the carbon here. Yeah, steering wheel, the uh, dashboard inserts is nice. The bridge is nice. So embarrassing, facepalm. I just filmed like my whole tour at Ferrari looking at a 48 coupe and the F12 in slow-mo. So nothing I said is uh, recorded because there's no audio in slow-mo on this camera. And then I filmed meeting Gabe and getting caught. Everything's in slow-mo. So. But, but, sorry to cut you off. No, that's all good. But we were technically moving in slow-mo anyway because we hadn't had our coffee yet. That's so true. it was pretty much the same shit. <laughs> stuff, same stuff. So here we are. We're at McLaren. We're picking up the 720S. They're gonna bring it around back, throw a plate on it. I am so excited. This is this is gonna be good times, bro. Yes. Doors go up. Um, and I hear this thing is a rocket. The so, number one question though. What? Will I fit? And will either of us fit? We'll find out. Because <laughs> yeah. you can get different size seats for these things. 
I'm sure it's the demo. They've got like the XLs in it, I hope. Is that the market in Vancouver though? No. <laughs> it's, it's not. Smaller, smaller men than us. Yes. But not lesser men. Smaller. <laughs> smaller. So a uh, quick tour of McLaren of Vancouver's showroom. Beautiful 650S right here. We got old school 12C behind me. We got a bunch of cars back there you can't see. Um, I'll walk past a few other cars over here on our way out to the 720, but let's just get to the 720. That's what you're really here to see, isn't it? Um, it's quite the Subi. Right? <laughs> Look at me, a definite car lover, because I like, I like anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, that thing would be so much fun to just rally the shit out well, of. That would be yeah. You, know, you driving around, and that would be perfect for that. Take it on that same road, and oh yeah, the dirt drifting. road. Yeah, 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 yeah sliding yeah. it. Yeah, hundred percent. All wheel drifts. Yeah. Here's another 570 Spider. This is what we're taking. <laughs> Do you guys even believe it? Oh, looks so good. So I hear this thing is a rocket. It's quick. Now it is on winters. Yeah, that's what my cars are on. So, very familiar with that. A lot less grip, but suitable for this time of the year here. Yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna be trying to hit any top speed records out in beautiful British Columbia, especially with the 41 over kilometer, lose your car, so not planning to. Not that that's happened to you before. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> only in my cars though. Yes, I've seen I, don't do, I don't do that with other people's cars. Fire extinguisher. What's that? This looks like a first aid. Yeah, first aid kit with a uh, triangle. No way. Yeah. Sweet. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> okay, buddy. I need the tutorial, man. Because I. I honestly don't know anything about this car. <laughs> I know the 650S. Okay, so you have some of the similar concepts, which is right here. So on some of the cars, it's down here, but this is where you're gonna adjust your throttle. I'm coming to the other side. Okay. We're climbing in. All right, here, let's do this. Okay, and I don't know how much you know about these, but obviously how this opens. This one, uh, there's three different roofs that you can get. Yeah. Uh, you can do the carbon roof, which this has, but you can also do uh, the grill glass. Yeah. Now, so when you push this button, what's happening is you're now adjusting what your suspension's gonna do and what your engine management and throttle are gonna do, okay, yeah. and transmission. So, comfort, sport, track, all right. okay, on all three, on both, okay? okay? If I turn it off, it sort of goes into a normal mode, if you will, okay? Right. But by press this, it's active. There's my arrow button if you want the wing up, okay? Which is now? Yeah, which it is right, right now, on. exactly, okay. okay? And when you're in the track setting, if I just leave that back in the comfort setting, what would happen is this pops back out, okay? Let's close this, okay? So this is how it's gonna be normally. Um, there is some adjustment over here. You can toggle through some different different settings on, on your display, but the minute I put it onto track mode, it actually comes down like this. Yeah. Okay. Basically, it's so just showing you your revs and your speed. Slick. Okay. Yeah. So you're instead of focusing on all the other things when you're driving aggressively at the track, and you're not going to be worried about that. Um, the rest of it, honestly, is you'll kind of figure it out. Like it's not that challenging. That's what I like actually about this car. To be totally honest, first and foremost, is uh, it they kept it somewhat simple in design. Right. Like you get in a Porsche. Well, there's more there's more buttons on the center console than you can shake a stick at yeah cool it's designed to be easy user friendly yeah that's good because stupid like myself yes you and i yeah <laughs> we can still drive these cool all right keys here fob fob very okay. simple yep how you lock it let's do that again you, you explain that again so I don't have to go through this. Check there this out, go. you guys. Check this out. To open the door. To so open the door. It's under here on, on yeah. the door. 
but to lock it, it's not under there. No, it is back here. There's a little thing that you just press that in and then it would lock it. There, there, there. I already can't find it. I think I'm pushing a, a, a bolt. <laughs> no. I figured it out. So it's not under this, it's on this side of the panel. We'll get there. Yeah. This is gonna be a very comprehensive, top-notch professional review. And the variable drift control is on for you. Love it. <laughs> and we figured out where the ejection seat is. Yeah, that's so right. So if Gabe gets too lippy, Tuck and roll, baby. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thanks for extending the yep, trust. Absolutely. We'll go make it. As always. Epic McLaren video. Absolutely. All right. Check this out. A white 720. <laughs> oh, it looks good in white. Amazing in white. Woo. And that's a gorilla glass, dude. This has the glass? Oh, yeah. This thing is beautiful. Orange accents, right? Oh, beautiful. Uh, customer car? Yep. Oh, yeah. They're all wow. sold. All sold. For all of next year's, all sold. Apparently, they're popular. This was the most sought after car when I put the four cars up and did the poll. Yep. 73% of my audience said to get a 720. Yep. So, this is why I'm here, because of you guys. Okay, I'm freezing now. That, me being warm earlier, what's worn off? Your nose is lifted, by the way. Okay. As you can sell Holy, it. you guys got crazy lift. That's higher than any other supercar I've seen. Okay, door handle. Right there. Look at those doors. Awesome. We'll see you in a few hours. No problem, buddy. Ciao. Gabe. Yo. Do you fit? Yeah. Watch, I, your, he I, I watch your head when you close the door, bro. Is your head stick it up just a little? No. Oh, I got room. You got room. I like it. Okay, homie. We're gonna climb in. Hey, you wanna hold that? Yeah. Oh, are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, there's tons of room. Yeah. Does this thing come, does this thing come with heated seats? I'm cold. Are you? <laughs> no, I think I'm it does. Good.